we have a whole lot of fun during the show, certainly making it. And I hope it, it translates on the screen while you're watching it. I got a chance to watch the first couple of episodes of the new season. And I love that the season already starts off so explosive, right? And I'm gonna try to get through this next four minutes without dropping spoilers and all my excitement. So let's start with John. I know that we see your character, man, he's caught up in it when we yeah. get, when we get, <laughs> you know, and he has to clear his name. So uh, what can you tell us about uh, Jack Ryan's journey, the journey you're gonna take us on this season? Jack, I can only imagine what's going on in your head right now. Every day you're on the run, you're digging a hole that you may not be able to get out of. I'm not running from the CIA. Then why are they chasing you? The whole intention this time was to do a season of the show that was worth the wait. We knew it would be about three years between season two and three because of the pandemic. So we wanted to do something big and something intense. And I think that's exactly what we did. I think to have Jack uh, running away from the CIA, he's gotten himself in so much trouble that not even the CIA can back him. And the CIA is actually the ones hunting him. It's a, it's a, it's quite a first episode to start with. And um, I, I rely on my two closest allies there to get me through it. Speaking of which, next question for Wendell. What I most enjoy about this series is like the bro brotherhood between Greer and uh, Ryan. So can you speak a little bit about that this season, their dynamic, and will their loyalty, their bond be tested this season? Use a nuclear strike to create chaos. The weapon has been built and it is on the move. The US can't go anywhere near this. We don't have any wiggle room to make mistakes. If you don't come in, you will be recalled. I come in now, a whole lot of people are gonna die. He saved my life, and I will do anything for him. And now, in his time of need, I step up, protect him while he's out there on the run, uh, protect him within the agency and outside of the agency. And that is uh, Greer stepping up to the plate and making sure that uh, he, he pays him back as he owes him his life, really. And so uh, that gives me an opportunity to uh, be involved in the intrigue and the espionage, the little inside and outside of the agency, um, a little bit more, and I love that about it. And of course, Michael, come, um, we see, you know, by episode two, your character certainly seems intrigued by what's going on with Jack. Uh, what can you tell us about Mike November, his journey this season, his dynamic with Mr. Ryan? What can you tease us with what's to come, sir? You're about to cross a line, and there may be no going back. Because I'm trying to do the right thing. It was never just about a nuke. This is about starting a world war. Jesus. Someone was playing a very dangerous game. We have to eliminate Jack Ryan. You see Mike November outside of the CIA um, because of the way things were left off there at the end of season two and his new business that he started and he's doing quite well for himself. Um, I don't say some stuff. <laughs> and, and, but, I mean, I got a cool truck and a house on a cliff. But he, he knows that if Jack Ryan is calling him, that it's for a damn good reason and he knows that whatever he needs him for, it's it's worth doing. So it's kind of an easy uh, easy go for Mike. What are you most excited about fans experiencing with this third season? Um, I'm excited for them to see all of it. Again, we, we made it with them in mind that, that it was worth waiting for. We go to nine different countries this season. Um, so you get to see a whole huge part of the world. Um, it's definitely the most action packed uh, season we've had up until now. And um, I don't know, we just, we, we have a whole lot of fun during the show, certainly making it. And I hope it, it translates on the screen while you're watching it.